Welcome back into the Sports Source, the segment of our show brought to you by Safety Systems. When you hear that name, you might think security systems. That's because they're the best in town with security systems. But they are also specialists in terms of that home theater system you've always dreamed about, the man cave, building that thing, the right prices with the best equipment possible. The guy you need to call, he's a fellow on our desk, J.J. Serlis, VFL himself. Safety Systems, he's the man to reach out to and chat with this week about your own home video system, home theater system, uh, audio video equipment, best in the world. Take it from me, I know. All right, also want to tease you, we told you about the Thursday night shows. Starting in two weeks, the Sports Source football post-game shows are back. The most watched ball football show in East Tennessee, by far. Uh, Shazan Bradley, Chuck Cavallera, Sterling Hinton, Bob Hodge, Daniel Hood, Jimmy Himes, David Ligon, Will Overstreet, Bobby Scott. You cannot beat that team with a stick. As a matter of fact, if I had another couple of guys, we could actually go over there and line up at Neyland Stadium. That's pretty strong now. So that, our football season, it will be our 14th football season, starts in a couple of weeks. All right, and uh, as we come back here on the – we have a visor here from Catholic High School. I got a couple of guys, representatives from Catholic. J.J. Serlis has coached over there. Daniel Hood, of course, an alum and also coaching over there. Yeah. This is now my adoptive Knoxville school. So yeah. two good guys here. Catholic High School, thank you much. Yeah. All right. Uh, everyone from the fans to the head coach have said UT's downfield passing game has to improve. We talked about on the media in the media all offseason to where now you hear people saying, well, the passing game's terrible. It's awful. Have we overblown it and made it look worse than it, than it is? Or is it pretty bad? Daniel Hood, I start with you. <laughs> um, it needs a lot of improvement. And I think it goes back to the point, until you can consistently have 100-yard receiver games um, or throwing the ball for 250 or plus, I think we're going we're gonna to struggle with a lot of it. No, I think part of it is Josh Dobbs' strength is running the football, so you're not going to take away one of the greatest running quarterbacks we've had here in, in a long time. Sorry, Starling. <laughs> but, uh, um, you know, and so you're going to sacrifice a little bit of it, but it's got to be improved. I mean, I think in the past, last year we had two guys that had over 100 yards receiving in a game. And for an SEC school, that, I just think that can't happen. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll go. go. I'll go. Hey, like, hey, like, like we say, started from the bottom. I was down there. Now I'm here. Let's go. <laughs> hey, we definitely have to improve. But I like having to improve while we're winning. We had some record-breaking numbers on offense last year, record-breaking numbers. And as long as we're winning and we've gotten improved that way, I like it. So, yeah, let's get better and break some more records. Bobby Scott, how much do you need to improve? Have we overblown this thing? I, th I think my thinking is we've overblown it a little bit because I think Josh Jobs, is, uh, he's, he's missed some receivers. But – how many balls have been dropped? Hey. Yep, 16 I mean, last year. I mean, hey. you know, that's, according to Pro Football Focus, who went back and counted every so pass, how many like 16 yards, drops. How many yards do you think that that would, you know, uh, Account jump for. into? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, continue so, series. So, I mean, our, our uh, you know, skilled players, quarterback, receivers, and everything, if they have, you know, if we've got the depth that we think we have, if we can get back in three weeks, uh, you know they're going, they're going to, they're going to be okay. I mean, Josh Dobbs, uh, all the running backs, Kamara, uh, and and everything. If they have improved over this off season, like they should have, then you know I think the passing game will be okay. Yeah. It is. It is going to be interesting to see how much they use. Kamara as a, as a receiver this year. They didn't do it early, mm -hmm. and then they did it more as the season went on. Uh, you've now got some other options at tight end. They yeah. can make it. Uh, J.J. Serlis, have we overblown this passing thing, or no? Is it No, it's legit. You've got a lot of stuff to work on there. Well, I think we need to improve it, obviously, but Tennessee football is being physical, run the ball, pounding people. So I love to watch us pound people and run the ball. Well, I think that it, it is hard to sit there and say that it's, it's broken when you run for that many yards, and you were this far from beating Florida, this far from beating Oklahoma, you could make a, make a case that a call, that was more about coaching decisions than performance on the field. Uh, you know, you could have gone 11-2 and two last year, possibly, if a break goes your way. Could have lost to South Carolina if a break goes against you. But bottom line is, I don't think you're that far off. I, I think the passing game clearly needs to improve. We've hammered on it all offseason. I think we might have just, we've overblown it a little bit. I still think if you throw one deep ball per game, if Dobbs can complete one extra deep ball per game, that offense is night and day different because you got a new threat. 
What I like most about the passing game, you got a guy by the name of Preston Williams who's not longer a, a true freshman anymore. You got Malone who's going to be a leader out there. And let me tell you something, that Josh Smith, X Factor, X Factor right there. And really? I said this too with our Quickly. three losses last year. Oklahoma made a play in the passing game to win the game mm -hmm. down at the Florida made one in the passing game. Alabama made the great, you know, toss up yeah. play on Cam Sutton. You got to be able to make at least one play. Agreed. All right. When we come back, thanks to these guys. Appreciate it. Uh, when we come back, we bring out another wave and we are going to give you the over under is 10. OK, that's the over under. I'm not going to let anybody say 10. There'll be no push. So you think Tennessee's going over 11 or more wins or nine or fewer? We'll discuss. Come back. Over, baby.